if you will compare it with iim definitely i i, I won't say that four is a supreme uh, institute 12 to uh, 14 lpa it came with 22 lpa hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and in today's video we are going to talk about four school of management today we have anupama over here who will be helping us to know everything about the college so let's get started hi anupama hi hi sandhya could you please introduce yourself yeah so i am anupama and i have studied uh, in four school of management uh, in the batch of 2022 so uh, for me it's for it was a, a little different experience because i uh, joined in 2020 and that time uh, covid happened so okay. that was a i mean new transition from uh, offline to online but i mean like four was worth even the offline mode online mode so yeah it was a great experience and the joining process was also very smooth peak i mean even being in the covid scenario what was the course which you pursued over there so i um, got admission in core so there's uh, there are uh, four major areas currently so first mm -hmm. is core um, uh, with core we have three sections and with img that is international uh, business marketing that we have two uh, sections for that uh, currently now we have two section for financial management as well and one section for bda which is which was new when we uh, got into four so that is a new newly introduced course in four so yeah that these okay. are the four courses and i was in core fmg okay so what exactly is the admission criteria of the college and uh, what is there like any particular exam which we have to give to be a part of this college and how does it work uh four supports cat zat um and there is no such um, different uh, exam for four itself like iift has uh they mm -hmm. have they have a separate examination happens yeah. for the admission but four doesn't have that um i mean they accept um, cat and zat scores yeah. and what exactly is the cat percentage uh, that is required to be a part of the college so it usually be around 87 to 89 percentile for the core and uh, for finance uh, finance management it is around 70 to 75 and for bda now it has increased it is also around 80 and uh, for img as well it is around 75 percent time so okay. i mean about 70 if i have to say do you think it's easy to get into the college um i won't say it easy uh, because um, at that time i mean um, for for us it could have been easy because that was a covid batch and i mean mm -hmm. people were looking for uh, i mean you uh, dropping the idea of doing m be and thought yeah. that we will do it later on but uh, but now that i see for the next batches and our junior and super junior batches it is quite mm -hmm. tough because the percentile has also increased the cut off percentile with um 4 to 5 percentiles for bd especially so it now has become hard and mm -hmm. uh, the interview interview also um happens i mean very uh, yeah about okay. average it will say yeah okay what what exactly is the interview process like um, is there any uh, personal rounds uh, there are different rounds in every college so um, how does it work uh, no there there is just one round uh, that that happens for that is a pi round personal interview happens for around uh, for me it was around 30 minutes so okay. it was a quite long interview and i mean uh, there uh, there uh, was three panelists from mm. different different departments and it was it was kind of a moderate interview because people were asking uh, questions from different different domains not not just uh, specific to your domain but also different domains and generic example and things like that so it was a long interview but yeah i mean not that easy to crack obviously okay so walk us through the overall experience so far like you know how was the campus life how were the faculties over there do you think it's all worth it to be a part of that college 
definitely definitely so uh, i mean when you transition from your bachelor's to a master's things change uh, pretty much uh, especially when it's an mba college so once you get in things starts to come up opportunities such as being a part of a committee um, different different b school competitions and things like that so four um, has this i mean great system of uh, uh, committee selection process which happens i mean uh, just two months after uh, when you join four so that is a, that was a great experience for me uh there are 25 committees and you can choose wherever you want to be and for those chosen um, selections you have to give different different rounds jd pi to be a part of that committee so that process i mean is very exciting before mm-hmm. that one thing also happens uh, which is organized by our cultural committee um uh, wherein you get to know your peers the we call it kyp know your peers and kys that know your seniors so these two things happens which which is a good thing to uh, know people uh, who, who i mean just, who have just joined um, they can you know really interact so these are the two things that that uh, is been organized by the, our com- uh, cultural committee uh, so yeah that was a great experience after that yeah, a, i mean uh, sorry to interrupt so i just want to uh, if you could name few of the committees so that um, because of course so when i was in college so we had you know drama society music society and that's all i think so so i just want to know what are the committees which actually you know happen in a business school so so there are committee like one i mentioned cultural committee that uh, the name is nexus uh, which usually uh, organize such events and fresher party and uh, uh you know whenever there is some independence day festival or diwali festival so uh, these uh, these kind of cultural activities are been organized by nexus then there is fscd uh, which usually uh, do that is sport sports division uh, uh, which usually organize uh, things like cricket and uh, cricket match football match badminton match things like that uh, there is uh, one i was part of fortec uh, so i was also part of committee so fortec uh, usually used to provide uh, on a daily basis they used to provide uh, facts about tech and how tech and management are aligning um, and uh, we used to organize different different uh, events uh, um, i mean uh, coordinating the tech and management uh such as i will give an example uh, wherein we have organized an event uh, where uh, there was a quiz and things like that uh, happens for uh, i mean such committee there are many more like 25 committees are there you can i mean see on the site of four so there are many uh, and what about the faculties how were the faculties over there so oh, faculty is um faculties are good but the thing is that you have to show your curia- curiosity to them i mean uh, if you want to learn and you would ask questions and you would uh, i mean be attentive in the class then faculties are good but if you will not be that uh, enthusiastic in the class then i mean there are very few um, very very few uh, faculty members who i mean literally want to push you uh, so yeah that is the thing i mean you you have to be more attentive and the, i i i think you know, this is a scenario uh, everywhere because once you uh, come into the management circle then i mean <laughs> people can't push you on a spoon feed you like you were you have been done in you know uh, schools so yeah hmm. yeah and what was the batch size um for us it was um because uh, bda just got introduced then usually it used to be 360 but now it got 420 oh, okay uh, then i don't think so that teacher can actually you know look up to every student so yeah that, that makes sense type um, of class of uh, 60 it used to be class of 60 yeah it is okay. it is quite hard to focus on each and every student yeah okay 
सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन दैट इज अबाउट प्लेसमेंट्स सो हाउ आर द प्लेसमेंट्स ऑफ द कॉलेज वर देर एनी इंटर्नशिप और जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज ड्यूरिंग योर कोर्स ऑफ पीरियड हाउ इज इट डू दे हैव एक्चुअली डू दे हैव एनी प्लेसमेंट सेल्फ फॉर द फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स टू यू नो गो इन टू इट एन एवरी the committees i talked about like there are 25 committees so one of them is placement committee that we call fcd and it's i mean kind of a scary committee and it takes you know you know uh, guts to be part of that committee because it's a very very long process and yeah once you get a uh, be in uh, uh, this uh, placement committee then it's i mean very hard for you as well if you are in that committee and for the other people as well because you have to be strict and people around you might hate you for that <laughs> because obviously you have to be you know in yeah. in certain uh, way yeah, yeah. Uh, placements to say uh, i mean as compared to the fee we have an roi perspective it is quite decent so the average a uh, package now uh, that i get information about the recent batch was around uh, 12 to uh, 14 lpa that was an average okay. and the highest package was offered by uh, mckinsey uh, if i'm not wrong mckinsey is of course a big big company everyone's dream yeah mckinsey came to our college for the first time this year so that was a big achievement uh, for the for four Mm-hmm. yeah so they come they came with 22 lpa and there was one more international yeah. company uh, from dubai mm-hmm. uh, they offered 28 lpa so that was the highest package but average was around 14 13 12 so okay most of the people were hired in that category the lowest go till 8 okay not less last. than 8 i mean okay I think it's a pretty good package. And what exactly is the fees of the course? Uh, so you have done a uh, two years ka program, right? Yes, yes. So I think it is a hefty expense, of course, to pay fifteen lakhs for two years. Uh, but again, if we are getting a uh, good placements, then uh, it's good. So it's like hundred percent placements, or uh, like kuch kuch koi milta hai. It's it's seventeen uh, lakh. Uh, for us it was actually i mean what happens is that uh, for us it it, uh, it was 15 because because it covid just happened and mm-hmm. college wanted to be a little you know subtle on the fees part so they didn't increase the fees for for us for 2022 batch it was 15 lakh but now it has increased so it is around 17 lakhs then it's good and uh, so it's i think uh, it's good so what exactly are you currently uh, doing 100% okay. and even if somehow for uh, if recession happens and some companies revoke the offer usually it doesn't happen uh, only with the companies which are not really renowned and mm-hmm. um, i mean startup and, th- and things like that so for them uh, for again um, i mean uh, do their best to get you placement even after the uh, the initial offer gets revoked okay so oh, okay you no, don't I have to worry that. about it so you have taken the placements from college itself or you have done it by yourself yeah. and i have uh, taken the placements from college but then i i mean it's been almost one and a half years so i have switched Uh, after a while uh, so yeah obviously people look for growth so but i got i got my uh, initial offer from four and i accepted it and i worked for a while and then i switched to a different okay. company now you know the corporate world 9 to 5 thing and everything i was also doing job but it's very hectic for me of course so yeah how many companies often visit to the college i mean on an average i think one uh, 140 to 150 companies come then i think that's wonderful yeah. you know if they are giving itna acha placements to theek hai yaar matlab agar ko if if you plan on going to iim or any other you know big colleges after doing cat so of course it, the placements are a bit higher but i think uh, 
at the best they are offering good placement so i think uh, just one last question so what advice will you give to students um, who are uh, planning to be a part of four do you think it's better than iim or uh, or any other you know uh, b schools of course so, so i just want to know you what's your take on it so yeah uh, i mean if you if if you will compare it with iim definitely i i, I won't say that four is a supreme institute because iim is something else but if you are um, in i mean in the percentile range of 70 to 80 and to 85 then four is definitely a very uh, good college uh, mm -hmm. one is because of the location it is in a very good location and i mean you can very well stay nearby and you can go to college it's in uh, it's in new delhi katwaria sarai so it's very uh, it it is situated in a very good locality it is an institutional area so you don't have to worry about uh, your uh, uh, i mean accommodation mm, i mean uh, and next thing which is good about four is that they give you ample of opportunity to explore apart from studies like i said 25 committees the school competition different different things happen throughout the year and you will not be bored okay you will not just have to study and all uh, you know like a nerd you you have a lot of opportunities and you we will uh, get opportunities to host to to be a scout for a event um, the fest happens uh, in a year so these are the things uh, which is very good at four it, it is a very good campus experience and last about the placements the uh, one advice which i'll give is that people usually struggle with the work culture these days because uh, i mean our generation is not like that they will uh, i mean cope up with the um, with the pressure companies is putting on us so i mean when you are uh, applying for a company just think just explore about that company first because otherwise just after joining you will start to i mean look for other opportunities because the company is putting so much pressure on you so yeah, yeah i mean you should explore before um, before applying yeah yeah just wanted to ask you you uh, so currently you are working um, the forbitch position uh, i am working in gartner as a market research specialist Okay. Um, oh, okay. Must have heard about Gartner. And I think uh, so. You said about the networking thing. I think you know, that is very important because, of course, if a student is coming from Rajasthan, Maharashtra, or any other city, then I think one thing which he or she will be looking for is exposure. City ka exposure is very important, and the networking. Of course, crowd has to be good of any college wherever you go. So I think uh, th that is a very important point. So yeah, I think uh, this was it, and uh, yeah, for everyone who will be watching this video, uh, this video will be really helpful for them. And of course, thank you, thank you so much, Anupama, for being a part of this video.